Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe. Uh, welcome back here to our series on going over the ICND-1 blueprint for the Cisco ICND-1 exam. And we finally come here to the end to part 7 on troubleshooting. So let's just kind of start going through the topics here. Uh, 7.1, we've got troubleshoot and correct problems associated with IP addressing and host configurations. This is basically going to be stuff that has to do with uh, really assigning the IP address subnet mask default gateway on a machine. So you're going to want to look for things like IP address errors, errors with the subnet mask, uh, you know, being different than what it should be, uh, issues with the default gateway, all that kind of a thing. Uh, maybe some things that tie into subnetting there would be my guess as well. So maybe they tell you, you know, a host should have the last usable IP address and they give you the you know the network and the mask or something and you'll need to figure out what that last address is to see if everything's all set so that's basically 7.1 7.2 we've got troubleshoot and resolve VLAN problems so here we go identify that VLANs are configured that's gonna be a couple good commands to know there show VLAN or show VLAN brief we will go ahead and show you uh, what's going on with VLANs on your switch Verify port membership. Good command for that is going to be again show VLAN, or uh, you can also take a look at uh, just show interface status. That's a quick way to kind of see all the interfaces and what uh, VLANs they're in. Correct IP addresses configured. They're probably talking there because it's troubleshooting VLANs. Probably talking about the IP that might be assigned to VLAN one on your switch. So again, you've got show interface, show IP interface, show IP interface brief, or just a show run and look at what you have on VLAN 1. All good things there. Troubleshooting and resolving trunking problems on switches. So verify correct trunk states, verify correct encapsulation, uh, correct VLANs are allowed. Basically, you're going to be looking there at show interface trunk is a great place to start or just taking a look at the interface configuration itself. And you're going to want to, of course, make sure you understand these states and which ones are compatible with which, right? So we've got dynamic desirable, dynamic auto, just static on mode. You're going to want to make sure you have a handle on what those things mean and which ones match up with which other ones uh, that will work. Encapsulation, basically you've got 802.1Q or ISL. You're going to want to make sure you understand the differences there and how to configure those. Correct VLANs are allowed. That's going to get down to a command on the interface. So uh, switch port trunk allowed VLAN. That's how you manually specify which VLANs are allowed on the trunk and which ones are not. So good things to know there. Troubleshooting and resolving ACL issues. So verify statistics, verify permitted networks, Basically, you're looking at show access list there, or maybe just a show run and look at where the access lists are configured uh, in the configuration. And of course, you can apply your access lists either inbound on an interface or outbound on an interface. Okay, so under the interface, you're going to say IP access group, and then the name or the number of the ACL, and then a direction either in or out. Okay, so it's important to understand uh, the different ways you can do that. To verify it, there's a couple different things you can do. Just look at the interface is, is one good way to check whether it's in or out. Or you might use something like uh, show IP interface is another good one to check out there. And then finally, we've got troubleshooting uh, and resolving layer one problems. They're going to give you a bunch of terms here like framing CRC runs giants, drop packets, input-output errors. Basically, I would say you want to understand at a high level what each of these terms means. Okay, I'm not going to cover every single one of these, but basically these problems are all things that happen when you've got issues at layer one in your network. Okay, so you, it could be because of, uh, you know, collisions, could be because of cabling issues. And I'm going to put a link to a really good Cisco document for you guys here in the uh, description section that kind of goes over all this so check out that link and it it'll go ahead and mention the definitions of all these and show you guys uh, a little bit more about that 
So that's about it for section seven, relatively short video here. Thanks everyone for watching and thanks for watching this entire series. I hope it was helpful for you guys and hope everyone learned a little something from it and you were able to gather uh, some sort of insight into helping you study for that ICND one. So uh, if you like the videos, like, subscribe. Uh, you can follow me also on Twitter at jasterino or check out the blog at astorinonetworks.com. Thanks everyone for watching and have a great night.